Hi, we're Joanna and James. Join us for a wander around the beautiful city of Ely and its rather fabulous annual Apple and Harvest Fair. In eastern Cambridgeshire lies the charming cathedral city of Ely. Built on an island of 23 square miles, it is the highest land in the Fens. We started our visit with tea at the Bake Shop General Store. We enjoyed it there so much we had seconds, including a delicious flat white and a canel bulla, a traditional Swedish cardamom and cinnamon bun. What makes today particularly special in Ely is their annual Apple and Harvest Fair, now in its 23rd year. Festivals like these feel so wonderfully bonding. Everyone seems happy. A peaceful vibe of tasting different treats and browsing pretty artisan stalls. Browsing often turns to buying. It almost feels like being in a village square in France, with everyone together, relaxing and enjoying the day. Among the lovely stalls are several fantastic projects, including Prospects Trust, an organic care farm in Cambridgeshire, Earth, which supports and changes lives through gardening, and David Doty, a one-man dynamo, who's raising awareness for hedgehog conservation. He's even written a children's book called Robohog, a new superhero for nature. All About the Buzz is a delightfully creative store with honey and irresistible handmade products, all made by its bee-loving owner, Vicky. She won first prize for her stall today and will be at Ben's Yard, Stunt Me, in late November, early December, if you're nearby and looking for Christmas goodies. Of course, at the core of this festival are the apples. Apparently, there are actually over 2,500 different types of apple in the UK, 7,000 in the world, far more than we're used to seeing in the supermarket. The cathedral, which gives Ely its city status, is one of the most magnificent in the country. This stunning structure originated in 673, when St. Etheldreda, daughter of the King of East Anglia, built Ely Abbey. The building we see now dates back to 1083 and was completed in 1342. Entry to the cathedral for adults if booked online is £9, in person 10 free for under 16s. There are some excellent tours at extra cost, including the amazing octagonal tower, where you can see 25 miles on a clear day, and the stained glass museum. As always, links are in the description box below this video.
Ely was once completely surrounded by water until the fens were drained in the 17th century and apparently takes its name from the Anglo-Saxon Eilig, which means Isle of Eels. There's an annual Ely Eel Festival in May, which pays tribute to the eels living in the waterways around the city. After strolling through the Jubilee Gardens, we ambled by the River Great Ouse, with its marina, restaurants, pubs, merchant houses, and the marvellous Peacock Tea Rooms, where we had some tea with our friend James, who prefers to be off camera. writer H. V. Morton wrote of Ely. This sudden high hill, crowned with its towered cathedral, seen above the white mist of late summer, is one of the most beautiful things in the whole of England. It is a spellbound hill, the creation, it seems, of a wizard's wand, a floating camelot, spun by the fairies from the mushroom mists. Thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel. Whatever you're up to, we wish you a happy day.